the solution to the equation is the value of the variable that satisfies the equation or makes the equation true. In order to solve the equation, we need to isolate the variable x on one side of the equation. To begin, we need to simplify both sides of the equation. Looking at the left side, we clear the parentheses by distributing four. And now on the right side, notice how we have brackets and parentheses. We begin by simplifying the innermost parentheses. We can clear the inner parentheses by distributing negative five because of the subtraction. Distributing four on the left, four times negative four x is negative sixteen x. And then we have four times six, which is twenty-four, giving us plus twenty-four. Equals on the right side, we have negative sixty-two x minus three times the quantity negative one. And now distributing negative five, negative five times three x is negative fifteen x, giving us minus fifteen x. And then negative five times positive two is negative 10, giving us minus 10. The left side is already simplified. We now continue simplifying the right side. Notice in the brackets we have like terms because we have two constant terms. So inside the brackets, negative one minus 10 is negative 11, giving us negative 11 minus 15 x. And now still simplifying on the right, we can now clear the brackets by distributing negative three, and we distribute negative three because of the subtraction here. Distributing negative three, negative three times negative 11 is positive 33, giving us plus 33. And then negative three times negative 15 x is positive 45 x, giving us plus 45 x. Notice now on the right side we have two like terms because we have two x terms. Negative sixty-two x plus forty-five x is negative seventeen x. The right side simplifies to negative seventeen x plus thirty-three. Now that we've simplified both sides of the equation, the next step is to isolate the variable terms on one side by adding or subtracting. Notice right now we have negative sixteen x on the left, and negative seventeen x on the right. Let's undo the negative seventeen x on the right by adding seventeen x to both sides of the equation. Simplifying negative sixteen x plus seventeen x is equal to one x or just x. The left side simplifies to x plus twenty four. On the right side, negative seventeen x plus seventeen x is zero which is why we added 17x to both sides. The right side simplifies to 33. Notice now we just have a one step equation. In order to solve for x, we need to undo the plus 24 by subtracting 24 on both sides. Simplifying, 24 minus 24 is zero. The left side simplifies to x. We have x equals 33 minus 24, which is equal to nine. The solution to the equation is x equals nine, which means if we substitute nine for x in the original equation, it will satisfy the equation or make the equation true. And let's go ahead and check this. Substituting nine for x, we have four times the quantity negative four times nine plus six equals negative sixty-two times nine minus three times the quantity negative one minus five times the quantity three times nine plus two. And now we'll evaluate the expression on the left and right using the calculator. Notice both expressions are equal to negative 120. And since negative 120 is equal to negative 120, this verifies the solution is correct. I hope you found this helpful.